Hello and welcome to this walkthrough on how to use the profit and loss statement template. The profit and loss statement is a financial statement wherein you summarize revenue and expenses in order to get your net income. It is a very useful tool which allows you to identify trends in your business's profitability, make a quick cost driver analysis, or just keep tabs on your taxes, all of which allows you to create better business strategies for your company. Without further ado, let's get started. Here in the introduction tab, we have a quick guide on the different inputs and variables of a profit and loss statement. Below, we have a customization difficulty, a quick explanation of the tabs included in this template, and some instructions on how you can customize this template. Let's get to the main worksheet. To do that, you can just click this hyperlink on the top left, or just simply click on the profit and loss statement tab. Here, we have a very simple but very usable profit and loss statement. Over at the top, you can input your company name as well as the period you'll be working in. Below that, we have some quick stats, namely total gross income, total expenses, total taxes, and total net profits. Over here, we have two macro buttons. Clicking on the full screen button hides the ribbon, making your worksheet bigger while clicking on the refresh button updates the expenses analysis graph on the far right side whenever you input new data in the expenses table. Do remember that changes done by macros cannot be undone. So in case you want to see your ribbon again, all you have to do is put it in windowed mode and it should appear again. Below the charts, we have the input tables, namely income details, expenses, and tax details. Note that gross profit and total non-operational income are computed automatically, so remember to not input any data on these grayed out cells. For income details, we have placeholders here that you can replace, so fill out total sales revenue and total cost of goods sold. And below gross profit, include any other sources of funds entering your firm and it gives you your totals below. On the right hand side, we can see some spark lines so you can have a quick peek about the performance of a certain category over a year. And you have a total column to show you how much a certain category earned in a year. Same thing goes with the expenses and tax details tables. Just replace the categories and monthly data to your liking. But again, when updating the expenses table, make sure to hit the refresh button so the expenses analysis chart can update. At the very bottom, we have some summations. We have your very important net profit, which is basically just your total income minus your total expenses and total taxes. Below, we have your accumulated profits, so we can see how much profits are we actually holding throughout the year. And that's basically the net profit of the current month plus the accumulated profits of the previous month. Below are arrows which shows the percentage change compared to the previous month. Going back again on top, we have a graph called month over month gross, which basically plots your net profits alongside your accumulated profits. And at the bottom again, we see the percent changes per month. This graph updates automatically, unlike the chart to the right. Here, we have your expenses analysis chart. This is a pivot table where you can try and see where your business shells out the most money to. On top, we have some very neat slicers, which you can use to quickly look up the expenses for the months you would prefer. For example, I just want to see the expenses for quarter two. I just click on April, and while holding down the control key, press on May and June. Then we can see the expenses just for quarter two. If you want to see all of the months again, just click on this remove filter button on the top right. That concludes this walkthrough of the profit and loss template. I hope you guys enjoy this template and I wish you greatly benefit from it.